Okay, making an exam that has a limited number of time that a student can <clears throat> take, and it is a self-grading exam. So here we go. The first thing that you need to do is you need to create a few questions. So you click under the administration menu, questions. And you'll notice that I've got some questions already created, but for the sake of argument, I'm going to create another one. And I choose the type. You might think calculated is, is what you want, but it's not uh, unless you're doing math. So uh, matching, multiple choice, uh, and true and false are your best options. You can use uh, embedded answers, short answer, uh, but they have a tendency if a student types in an answer just a little bit wrong, if their spelling is wrong or alphabetization or, or any number of things can go wrong. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to do just a true and false question. And the question name is Bugs Bunny. Okay. And here is the question text. And you scroll down and there's the general feedback. So our question text is, is Marvin the Martian the enemy? Actually, no, this is true false, isn't it? So uh, enemy... So let me move my is <clears throat> of bugs, bunny, and verily the whole earth. All right. Now, general feedback. Um, this can just be whatever kind of feedback, depending on how many times I want the students to be able to, to take the quiz. So, uh, find my space modulator. Now, notice right here, default question grade and penalty factor is 1. So, default grade, if they get it right, they get 1 point. If they don't, they lose a point. Um, feedback for the true response. Correct. And then wrong. Sorry. Um, and, and here the correct answer is false. We want to switch that to true. So Marvin the Martian is the enemy of Bugs Bunny. Check for typos, apparently. Um, and verily the whole earth. So the answer to that is obviously true. Double check to make sure that's correct. Very important step to make sure that your, your correct answers are the correct answers. So we click Save Changes, and there you go. Um, now sort by name type. Bugs Bunny is uh, just a default question. So there it goes. Um, now we're going to go back to the course and I'm going to add an activity and I'm going to add a quiz. So random quiz. Can you answer for bonus? Okay, um, and the, the quiz is going to be opened April 18th uh, to April 19th. We're going to give it 24 hours, but I'm only giving you 10 minutes to take this quiz. So time limit in minutes, I click enable and I set it to 10. Um, and then number of attempts allowed, I'm only going to allow one attempt because this is a pretty serious affair. Each attempt builds on last and adaptive mode. Both become invalid because I'm only allowing one attempt. Grading method, highest, so on and so forth. Now I scroll down. And these are just uh, grade boundaries. So if I wanted to, uh, for example, 90% is the A boundary. 80% is then the, the lowest B. 70% the lowest C, and then 60% the lowest D, and then anything below 60 is going to get to that. I can add more fields, do my, more gradation, so on and so forth, but A, B, C, D, F. All right, uh, save and display. 
Now notice questions in this quiz. No questions have been added yet. This one's going to only have the one Bugs Bunny quiz. So I add that to quiz. There's Bugs Bunny. Grade is one. Maximum grade. I'm going to change that to one because this is only a one point thing. Save questions. Now I'm going to click on preview. Marvin the Martian is the enemy of Bugs Bunny and verily the whole earth. And I'm going to say true because I'm a smart guy and I know the answer. And I click submit. Notice it gives me my time remaining. The answer. And there we are. Submit all and finish at the end of the quiz. And it gives me a warning. I click OK. And there it is. Grade 1 out of 1, 100% feedback, A. So there you go. Um, it gives me all of the scores and everything, and this is, this is what you would get to see as a student. Any questions, post them on the Moodle, and I'll try and answer them with, with regards to this video.